We've seen a lot of ways to customize scatter plots, but scatter plots are just one kind of graph. Sometimes we want to look at just one dimension of our data and observe its distribution. So for that, we'll use a histogram. All you need to do to make a histogram is change your layer from geom underscore point to geom underscore histogram. For example, we do ggplot of diamonds, our data, an aesthetic, x, what we want to put on the x-axis. In this case, let's look at the distribution of price. Then we add the geom histogram layer. This creates a histogram. Notice that on the x-axis we've placed price, and the y-axis is the frequency within each bin. This is a vi visualization of the density of the distribution of price. You can change the width of each bin as an option to the geom histogram layer. You can make them wider with bin width. You set it to the width you want, let's say 2,000, which is wider. Bins get wider. Or you can change it to thinner. Bin width equals 200. And the bins get thinner. Other than that, you can do most of the same things with a histogram that you could with a scatter plot. You can again facet histograms into multiple subplots using facet underscore wrap. So for instance, take the plot and say plus facet underscore wrap. Let's divide it by clarity. Notice that we've created eight subplots, one for each level of clarity. Each of these subplots shares the same y-axis, which might make it hard to interpret the frequencies. Some subplots have far more points than others. So to free up these y-axes so they can be different between the graphs, we add an option to facet wrap. In this case, scale equals, and then in quotes, free underscore y. Notice that each of the subplots now has a different y-axis, some of them going up to 50, some up to 1,000, depending on what's appropriate for that subplot. Let's say you want to add another attribute to this histogram to see its effect on the density. For example, to make a stacked histogram based on the clarity attribute. Try adding the fill aesthetic. So after x equals price, we'll add fill equals clarity. This creates a stacked histogram where each color represents the distribution of a different clarity attribute. You could set any other attribute to this as well. For example, the cut. See how the distribution is composed within each of those variables. Another way to view the distribution is with a density curve. You can do this by changing geom histogram to geom underscore density. Move the fill attribute, change this to density. So notice that it looks smoother than a histogram. If you want to divide this density curve up based on one of your attributes, you can use the color aesthetic instead of fill. For example, adding color equals cut. This provides a good way to compare multiple distributions.